Hey everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I want to talk about being afraid of failure as a junior software engineer and as a software engineer in general. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christopher Adams. I am a senior full stack software engineer living in the Tampa area. If you've gotten any value at all out of my video, please like and subscribe, share it with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into today's topic. All right, so first off, I have to say that I am no stranger to being afraid of failure as a software engineer. From the time that I was a junior, to the time I'm mid-level, to the time that I'm a senior level, every step of the way, I've been afraid of failure to a certain degree. Now, what kind of feelings did I feel when I was afraid of failure? What happened? What made me think this way? Well, I would say that I'm typically given projects, right? I'm giving new features to build. I'm giving bug fixes to fix and various things like that. And almost every single time, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do when I'm first given the task. I don't know precisely, hey, I need to do this, that, this, that, this, that, and then I'm done. Every single project, there's a mix. There's a mix of me knowing what to do and there's a mix of going into the unknown, of trying to figure out some things that at the start seem daunting. So what do I do to remedy this? What do I do to clear this up? What do I do to remedy the situation? Well, I spend additional time, right? I dive into the areas that I'm unfamiliar with. I leverage people, I leverage coworkers, I leverage friends. If they have more experience in a certain area than I do, I try to seek their advice. I try to shine the light in the areas of the feature that I'm building or the areas of the project that I'm unfamiliar with. And this will help build my confidence to be able to complete this feature or complete this task, right? And that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna take something that you're scared of and you wanna break it down into tinier pieces. You have a project, you wanna break the project down into small, manageable, tackleable pieces actionable. All of these words come to mind. Actionable, tackleable, manageable. You want to make it so you can see the forest for the trees. So say I'm given a new feature to build and at the start I'm, I'm having feelings of like, whoa, this is a little crazy. I'm not sure if I can complete this. Uh, but my mindset is, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to complete this. What do I need to do in order to complete this? What questions do I need to ask? What technologies do I need to learn? How do I need to break this up into smaller tasks and make progress and start feeling the momentum? It's like a snowball effect, right? You tackle one little piece of it, the ball gets bigger. You tackle another piece, the ball continues to get bigger and it gets bigger and bigger until you complete the feature. That's exactly the approach I like to take. Because if you look at the feature that you're assigned for the, for the big picture and you just sit back and you're like, okay, I need to do all of this. This is, this is crazy. I, I have to do all of this. Instead, take the big picture and break it up into four or five pieces. And then when you break it up into four or five pieces, don't have these pieces all in your view at all times. Hide them away and take one little piece off. Look at that one little piece and try your best to tackle that one piece. Try and make that one piece as perfect as you possibly can. And then once you feel good about it, set that one to the side and take another piece and tackle that piece. And before you know it, you'll do this, you'll do this, you'll do this, and the feature's done. This is the approach you want to take. Because if you just look at the whole thing right in front of you, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're gonna say, I don't know if I can do this. But if you break that problem up, you feel a good sense of momentum. You feel empowered. That's what you wanna aim for. So I'd say most of the time, when I have that feeling of being afraid of failure, it's because what I'm really doing is I'm fearing the unknown. So by making the unknown more familiar and you're becoming more comfortable with the unknown, then that's when that fear subsides. That's when your confidence grows. And that's when the project gets completed. 
And it seems like almost every time I'm handed something, I, at first, I get that feeling of being afraid to fail, but it dissipates far qu more quickly because I have more experience. So I don't hold on to it until the project is finished or the feature's finished. I quickly comb through it and I try to understand what I don't know. And then I push it to the goal. I get it done. So I'm never completely in my comfort zone. Since I've started my career, I've never been completely in my comfort zone. I've never done things that it's just automatic for me and it's mindless work. My entire career so far has been, has taken quite a bit of thought, has taken, had to be deliberate in a lot of the things that I've done. I've had to learn specific technologies um, in order to get up to speed with being able to be productive within the platform that I'm working on. And it's always out of my comfort zone. So I want you all to understand that you are perfectly normal. If you have any kind of being afraid to fail, um, this is perfectly normal. But what you can do about it is gain confidence by combing through the unknown, by gaining more experience, and by breaking things up into smaller, more manageable pieces. This will go a long way for you. There's other times I've been afraid to fail, right? Like when I first embarked on the journey of becoming a software engineer, um, when I first applied to the very first junior dev job that I've ever had, I was thinking to myself, can I do this? I'm going to be working with a lot of smart individuals. Am I going to be up to par? Am I going to be able to handle it when I'm faced with tough situations? You know, there's all kinds of doubts that went through my head. Um, even when I was started on the journey of learning how to code, I was thinking to myself, Am I going to be able to do it? And, you know, slowly but surely, I did prove to myself that, hey, I do, I can learn this. I do have the chops. Even when I was promoted from a junior to a mid-level, while that was validating that, hey, I'm getting better, it was still daunting and it was still scary to me that now I'm going to be given more harder tasks. Now I'm going to be given more responsibility. And then the same thing from when I was mid to senior. It's like, wow, are they really going to look at me like a senior? Are they going to give me a ton of work and a ton of complicated projects now that I'm senior? Am I going to be able to handle it? When people come to me with a lot of questions in the workplace, am I going to be able to answer them? So it's just evolving, evolving every step of the way. Being afraid of failure is taking a new form. So it's pretty interesting to think about. So. The message of this video is that if you have any doubts in your mind, if you are afraid to fail, if you are not taking the next step in software engineering because you're afraid of failure, you need to take the next step. Do it. I know you can do it. Just put in the extra time. Whichever area you're scared to fail in, put in some extra time. And through preparation, you'll find that your confidence will grow. You'll become far less afraid. But also being afraid of failure to a certain degree can be great, can be a good thing because it can push you. It can push you to put in that additional time. It can push you to make sure that you do good on the project and that you are going to complete it when you're nearing the deadline. It can be a good motivator. There's countless individuals who are greats in their field today because they were driven by the fear of failure. I think Mike Tyson was one of them. I think um, Kobe Bryant was another. I think um, Gordon Ramsay was another. There are countless examples. And you can use it to your advantage. It's when you get in your comfort zone that you should be worried. Never, ever, ever stay in your comfort zone. Try to always push yourself out of that comfort zone because that is where growth will come from. So I hope this video has been useful to you all. If you've gotten any value out of it, remember to like and subscribe. Share it with anyone that you know is interested in software engineering. Till next time, see you all later.